Chat, you know, chat, this is something we haven't done in a while. Anthony? I like Family Feud, I think they're funny. I watch one of them. I used to do this all the time, and I like answering at the same time because I'm actually pretty good at it. Yeah, they're, they're gonna ignore me, but I like them. Got fired from my job today. Not really sure where I'm gonna go from here, but your streams are always good. What is this? Thanks Top for being new XQCL. On the board. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would Yo. say is the best thing about him? His bald head. His sense of humor. I don't know. Ah, uh, probably not. I do not. Bald head. Lickable head. That's money. <laughs> of all of the questions for this side yeah, to have. Yeah. Yes, I see. Yes, I Yeah. Come on, Steve. Come on, ask me, Steve. Ask me, baby. Ask me. Come on, Steve. What do you think? Oh. Oh, stop stalling, dude. Said, what do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best thing about it? Those lips, Steve. Oh! It's soup coolers. <laughs> I've never been like embarrassed. <laughs> but like right now, I'm actually nervous. <laughs> and you should be. I know I it's, it's all right. It's all right. All right, Will of Joy. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the question again? I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> what do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best thing about him? I'm going to say his, um, his money. Oh! They actually did it. <laughs> if you can't be cute, be rich. Bay is balling, yeah, Bay. Alright. Hey, y'all ain't got no damn strikes. <laughs> Here for a while. We can go on all night long. We'll be back next question. question. <laughs> We're gonna see you in Baltimore on Sunday. <laughs> dimples, Steve. Okay, you. The dimples. The dimples. What did you say? Okay, you. The dimples. The dimples. Then I answer the dimples. <laughs> That's a strike and a half if I see one. That's a strike. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best thing about it? Your personality? My personality! I I had it. I was like oh, one. I did a sense of humor. That's death row. I would have won that. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best thing about him? The way he dresses. Yeah, his swag. Yeah. Uh, that was the second answer. I got a, I got a nice. All right. 
What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best? All them jobs you got, baby. What? All them jobs. What? Did <laughs> look at her? Look at her face. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the Look best? All them jobs you got, baby. <laughs> All <laughs> them jobs. <laughs> she was not surprised. <laughs> I've got two strikes the Bennett family can steal. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife would say is the best thing about it? I know this is a PG show. Uh -oh. His log. Give it to him. Give it to him. But I'm gonna say you probably lay that thing down. And oh! That's that's not. Up there, though, is it? That ain't gonna I mean, not, not yet. Come on, go ahead, go ahead look up there and see if it's up there. there. See if it's up there. It, it ain't up there. Oh, but I, but I know it's true, though. <laughs> it ain't gotta be up there on that board. Oh, no. <laughs> They're, they're not gonna get it. Right. They're gonna say some stupid shit. Right. Come on, buddy. What do you think Steve Harvey's wife says the best thing about it? I think uh, we're gonna go with your eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that part is that's probably gonna work. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't make any sense though. Cause some of these are like umbrella terms, you know? So they kind of fit in each other. So it's, it, it's kind of weird. Amazing comeback. Have we seen this before? All right, you ready? You ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. Bulldog. Sem How many hours a day do you spend online? Four. Five. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Farming. No Name thing. a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Uh, movies. Name Fountain. a kind of uniform Mall. that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Fireman. Glasses. Wait, what? What is that? Where you see lovers quarreling. Uh, movies. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Doctor. Fireman. I was listening because I was talking. All right, let's see. She did good, though. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. You said that bulldog survey said. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said. Five. This is going to be. Uh, five. Survey said. Uh, Twelve. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said, we need you to be more specific, so listen to me closely. Okay. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Pulling vegetables. A pulling vegetables? Two. The survey said. Okay. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said, movie survey said. For two. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said that fireman survey said six. Yes. All right, we're right. Go. What do you mean nerdy? How can be a nerdy fireman? Got it, got it, got it. Okay, Ben, listen to me. Yes, sir. This is doable. Yes, sir. Erica got 68. That's good. You need 132. 
What do I mean? Ready? Yes, sir. Because when you're a fireman, dude, you're at least, uh, their expectation, like you need to be in shape at least. You need to be able to, to bust down the doors, hold the hoses, carry some people out, dude. You have to be somewhat in shape. You can't really be the hardcore nerdy fireman. It just doesn't make sense, man. All right, let's remind everybody of Eric Kazan. Oh, the uniform you mean, though. Okay, yeah, you're right. seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. St. Bernard. How many hours a day do you spend online? Four. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Um, driving a tractor. G name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Um, the supermarket. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Doctor. Uh, military. This guy's insane. Man. Come on, let's take a shot at him. He wins this. But we ask, you need 132, we gotta go big. Let's go, we ask 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys, you know, you said. St. Bernard, survey said. 22. Yeah. St. Bernard was the number one answer. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said four, survey said. 19. Three. Three was the number one answer. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said driving a tractor. Survey said. 16. Fuck. Getting up early and plowing tied for the top. 63 points away. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said supermarket. Survey said. 23. Park. The oh, park yeah. was the number one answer. I'm you trying to. A big one. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said military. Survey said. 43. Oh! Yeah, this guy's crazy. Thank you. you know, this is, I know it's a game and it's family friendly, it's, it's, it's for fun, job, but I wish they, they, they theorized the questions better to where you wouldn't get big chunks like 50 or 60 yeah. or 45, right? So then whenever they, they ask the questions, so, so the answer can't be too obvious if somebody says it, and it's the second person can't say it because it's already taken. Because then it's kind of broken. Ready? Because in the, in rapid fire like this, if somebody always said the answer, the second can't say the same answer. He said he was watching a guy standing across the street who was watching a guy suck a dick for five dollars. Wow, just fine. You know? Okay. I'm ready. One more. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Three months. Come on, Carl. Cheers. We asked one hundred married women, without even looking, what does your man have in his hand right now? A remote. On a scale of one to 10, how perfect a person are you? Seven. Name an animal that might qualify as a beast. A lion. Other than the thumb, name a finger. Index. Index. Name someone grandma has a picture of on her night table. Gretelin. Granddaughter. <laughs> yeah. She did good though. We asked 100 married women, Without even looking, what does your man have in his hand right now? You said... Remote survey said... 16. On a scale of... Because I forgot this doesn't count, okay? This is a show for boomers. The audience is a boomer. These guys are 60, 50, retired suckers, okay? Of course they watch the TV. They probably... Dude, they watched all the ads, all of them. Oh, All they did. How perfect a person are you? You said seven. Survey said thirty-seven. Name an animal that might qualify as a beast. You said 
Lion. Survey said. Turn in. Other than the thumb, name a finger. You said. Index. Survey said. Sixty-two. Name someone grandma has a picture of on the night table. You said. Granddaughter. Survey said. Forty-five. We well, can't beat that. Okay. Now watch how all her answers are gonna get denied, and she's gonna look stupid, and she's gonna she's gonna fuck up. Terry. Yes, sir. We have a situation. Oh here. no. <laughs> she can't. Carl is your sister. Cousin. She's your cousin. Mm-hmm. She gonna stay my cousin? Yeah, okay. she's your cousin. This is all about you staying in the family. Oh, God. She's in forever. <laughs> this is this is could go down in history as one of the greatest games ever played. Wow, I'm yeah. impressed. I think. Yeah. Guess how many points you need? Well, heck, now probably five. Five? No. God, uh, you need less than. Well, that. she got all the number one answers. Um, I'm gonna say two. Exactly. Yeah. 